do you think we can uh, do when studying alone or when we are in class is playing word games. And I will devote like a big part of this webinar to uh, the word games because I think they're very important. They're not only for kids, they're also for adults. Research has shown that adults learn uh, more effectively, uh, faster and, and, and with a better result when playing is involved because it is done in an indirect, pleasant way and not the boring way like take this worksheet and memorize these words or fill in the words, do this drill, etc. So we can play some word games. Do you play games? Let me see your answers in the chat. Do you play games with your students? Let me check your answers. Yes, you play games. Yes, you do. I can see uh, all teachers love playing yes of course through games we can not only enhance the vocabulary but also the grammar uh, communication let's see some ideas now i have mentioned here some uh, categories of games types of games uh, that help learning become fun and engage students of all ages and levels. First of all, I have Pictionary. I will give you some explanation on how to put these games on the ground and what they look like. Word association games, vocabulary hangman, word search, roll the dice, find the opposite, and celebrity heads. So these games I'm going to describe today uh, you can play with all ages, all levels. That's up to you to choose the corresponding words that they already know uh, according to your student level. So first of all, I want to describe vocabulary Pictionary. Do you know Pictionary? It's a game for children. It is widely played around the world and it is sold in all toy shops. It's a game of charades where players draw words instead of acting them out, okay? Uh, the same game can be played with acting, okay? Miming an action or a situation. But here it will be more effective, more efficient to ask students to write in front, instead of mime. So in order to play, you need to split the group into two teams or three or four, depending on your on the size of your group. Uh, for each round, uh, we assign one team member to draw. So I want to make a point here that this game is ideal for big stability classes and for differentiated learning. So we can make, uh, take advantage of students' talents. Uh, if we have, let's say, one student who is uh, artistic, artistically intelligent. He's good at drawing or singing or, or writing music, whatever. We can make this student the strong link to this chain, even if he's not good at English. Okay. So students who are normally in the shadow can take a leading role in this game. So one team member is assigned to draw, usually an artistic, artistically intelligent person. Then we give the drawing uh, team member a word. He, he sees the, the word and uh, he starts drawing. And we allow 60 seconds, you have to time them, okay, uh, to his teammates to guess what is the word. They guess correctly, you assign one point to the team. You can give other teams the opportunity um, to steal, maybe guess the word first, or move into the next team's turn. 
if the, if this team doesn't find the word, we can ask other teams to find the word. If they find the word, they get the point. Um, this game is a great way to practice new vocabulary uh, as players connect the word with an image. Okay, it's fun to be played in class, in parties, virtual parties as well, online. If you want to play online, Pictionary online, you can draw on the whiteboard application feature on your uh, online meeting software. So you can uh, pass the command, the control to a student who is uh, the, the, the member who draws and they can draw and the whole class can participate, the whole team. Now let's watch a funny uh, Pictionary. Today, what are we playing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you the video, could you hear this guy being really enthusiastic and say, hey, hello everybody, welcome. Could you hear him? Just give me thumbs up. Just making sure everything uh, works fine with the sound. I don't see any answers yet. So maybe I should play the video again. Yes. Oh, yes, you can hear. Okay. Okay. Give me your ideas on the games that you use in your class. Maybe we can learn from each other. We can share knowledge. I, of course, the, the, the duration of the webinar doesn't allow me to mention all games that exist. Okay. Or all games that we play, but please give me some ideas. I will make a quick reference of your games at the end of the webinar. So I can see everyone can hear. Let's watch a couple of minutes of this video. It's online. So you can get an idea of how you can play Pictionary. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. What is it, Josh? What are you drawing? Where are you drawing? Pictionary. Where are you drawing? Sorry. Sorry, I was trying to turn off my camera to make the projection better. I'm now playing the video, okay. Okay, yeah. okay, let's go, so Josh. So Josh what drawing is on my screen, um, and we're uh, supposed to guess what's going on, right? Is it, uh, uh, oh, 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 birthday, oh, uh, birthday, okay. okay. I've got this, I've got this. I don't have this. Oh, 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 uh, mar marriage. Yeah. Josh's relationship <laughs> status. No. Oh, 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 right. Come on, come on. Right. Not the uh, right. Gentleman <laughs> is a right. right. I suck so much. Come on, right, guys. mate. Right, I'm just gonna. Hey. What? It starts with the H. The cake a little bit. I don't uh, know this word. Who is All it? The viewers are probably uh, humongous. Who? You Who mind. is it? Oh, what Who is, is it? the arrow? Henry. The Hulk. I don't know. <laughs> He's not green. Why is it? Why have I done it in this context, guys? Because uh, um, the gent uh, ha die. happily married. Who is what? he? <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> what is it? Oh my god! It's the husband. It's the husband. It's the husband, Jelly. Oh. My. So you got an idea of um, how much fun we can have while playing uh, Pictionary online. Everyone can participate, can use English, can make, uh, take a wild guess, um, make suggestions on what's the word, and people can get funny. And when we have fun, we learn better, okay? Uh, I can see lots of games coming in. Uh, Keep on sending me games. I will read all your games at the end. Now, next slide. I want you to guess the game. I mentioned this in the slide where I mentioned all the games. What do you see? There are some people. Here I have adults because I mentioned that we can play games with adults as well. And they have a name tag on their forehead. Okay. They're all looking up because they they don't know who they are okay so the first girl is madonna the second girl is einstein the boy the third uh, the young gentleman is, is is the queen 
the next gentleman is Charles Darwin. Next gentleman is Serena Williams, the tennis player. Yes. So I can use celebrities. Very well, very well. It's a celebrity game. Yes, I can use celebrities. I can use local celebrities from my country. Okay. It doesn't need to be international celebrities. I can even use other members of our group. Like I can have the name tag Maria. My name is Nadia, but I can I can be Maria or George or and I don't know this. So I can go around and meet other people and we can introduce ourselves. Uh, ask each other questions about uh, me like I can ask you questions. Am I tall? Am I dark haired? Do I have blue eyes? Do I like basketball? Or do I sing? Am I a singer? Etc. And by asking other members of my team these questions, I have to guess who I am. This employs lots of vocabulary and grammar as well okay are you ready for the next game want to go to the next game so we saw picture dictionary so far and find the celebrity all right let's go to the next one next slide what's this game i'm sure you all know this and you all play this. This is very easy to play. You don't need special equipment. All you need to have is a pen, some um, interactive whiteboards uh, help you play this uh, virtually as well, either online or in class, but without writing, actually writing, but typing. The MM books are all uh, equipped with at least two or three the new interactive whiteboard materials three mm, interactive whiteboard games that you can play with your class and they are based on the vocabulary you teach in that module very very useful and effective and you don't need to search for a gaming platform online and get irrelevant words the words are relevant so it's a kind of an indirect revision to what you just taught um, and better, more effective in terms of uh, memory enhancement. As I said earlier, we need to revise the words every two or three days. So this is a way of remembering the words, but in the form of a game. Okay, it's hangman, of course, as you write, you all write it's hangman. Uh, 